you doing? Stuffing money in the hongbao, and it's called hongbao. Hongbao? Only one, silly! Okay. We don't have that much. Okay. What are these for? What party are we going to do? A Chinese New Year. Is it going to be amazing? Mm-hmm. So it's Year of the Rat. These are last year's envelopes because we had extra. So that's Year of the Pig, but we'll do the Year of the Rat um, is, is the one we're actually going to do, right? Mm -hmm. We'll get some more envelopes for that one. And that's mine. I'm the Year of the Rat. You are. All right, so now what are you doing for our party? Just opening these. What are they? Rats. They're the little rats for our party favors. Look how cute they are on their little coins. And you're not you're the rat, you're you're the rabbit, right? Mm -hmm. And that's going to be soon. All right, so we are getting ready for the Chinese New Year party. We have our hung bao and our tangerines and our nuts. There's more. Um, but I noticed when I was going through moving the year of the rat rat favors, we're missing a nose. One of these poor rats is missing a nose or she. I don't know what that means for Chinese New Year. I guess we'll see. We'll find out. So I can't believe that I didn't get any pictures of the food because it would have been probably much more entertaining to show you that. But I'm still going to write out all the things that we ended up using for our Chinese New Year food. Um, and maybe some of the reasons why. Um, so first, um, actually I'm gonna use red. The way you say Happy New Year in Mandarin is Xin Yin Kuai Le. I probably am saying that wrong, but I'm trying. So Xin Yin Kuai, ooh, let me think. C U or K U A Kwai La. Shen Yen Kwai La. And what we know we need for Chinese New Year is a few things. You need lots of the color red. Red. Lots of color red because it represents happiness and repels evil. There's a whole big story behind that with a dragon called Yin that I don't know well enough to talk about in this video, but someday I will, because every year I learn a little bit more. We know we need tangerines, tangerines, and we need oranges, oranges, ooh, spelling while I'm on camera. We need tangerines and we need oranges. These are round fruits. <laughs> Pretend those look like tangerines and oranges. These are round fruits. It's important to have at your Chinese New Year celebration or Lunar New Year celebration. Um, and they represent wealth and good luck. I believe there's something to do with um, Either the the word orange, the, the words in Mandarin or in, um, I think it's in Mandarin, um, those words sound like wealth, or I think it's wealth. Um, and that's why having those, those foods and fruits are good. We also need fish. 
So we got a fish and it was actually what you want is a whole fish. Oh Lord, we're going to make a fish here. Let's see. Does that look like a fish? <laughs> we make a fish. Um, or in my case, you purchase a fish. Um, I purchased all of the food. We had it catered from Little Village Noodle House in downtown, uh, in Chinatown in Honolulu. And it was delicious. But the fish represents um, family unity and togetherness. We also had a whole lot of noodles. Let's see, how would I draw a noodle? You have a, we had a whole lot of noodles and you want long life. You want noodles because it rep long noodles because it represents long life. Um, and unlike some dishes where you might want to cut up your noodles, you're actually not supposed to cut these noodles before you eat them because um, you don't want to cut <laughs> your long life. We had a plate of like seeds, uh, seeds and nuts. Oops. We're going to turn that into something in a second. I don't know what. We had a plate of seeds and nuts, and that is meant to represent um, harvest, abundance, um, I think fertility. Uh, so pomegranates, I'm not even going to try to draw a pomegranate, but a pomegranate is perfect because it's red, ah, and it has a bunch of seeds in it. Um, there's also dumplings, dumplings. Um, uh, the dumplings are called jiaozi. And again, forgive me if I'm saying that wrong. J-I-A-O-Z-I, -I, I believe, jiaozi. Um, I think it's jiaozi. The little Chinese dumplings um, in Japan, we called them gyoza. Um, uh, but those are delicious, and we ate those on Chinese New Year, or I guess New Year's Eve, but really I guess you can eat them the whole time. Um, all right. So, Xin Yan Kuai Le. Happy New Year. I wish I had pictures of the food, but I don't, so this will have to do.